center of every situation. See, the idea of putting Jesus in the center of it all is not throwing him in the middle and walking away. It's directing your steps, directing your ways towards Jesus, running to him, placing him in the center. Same with everything that we do, ministry, our lives, our work, everything should be pointing to Jesus, who is the center. He is our foundation, our cornerstone. Without him, we fall apart. Without him, we are nothing. Without him, we are but a band. Without him, we are but a building. Without him, we are but bodies. We are living beings. But with him, we have everlasting life. So this morning, I ask that we just direct our attention to the center, to him. And everything that we do, direct it to him. There's a scene in the Bible, in the book of Acts, when Peter healed the, the crippled beggar. He said, silver or gold, I do not have, but what I do have, in the name of Jesus, get up and walk. Yes, and what amazes me is what he says after, in the next chapter. Peter saw an opportunity to preach to the people. And he says, you look at me in awe, like as if we did it. Uh -huh. But it is by God's grace, by God's strength, by God's power. To direct the people to Christ, who is the center of it all. Father God, this morning we declare that you are the center, Lord. That everything we do, Lord, we do for you, Lord. Father God, we do not do this for the, for the pleasings of men, Father God. We do this for you, Father God. Whether it's ministry, whether it's work, whether it's being a parent, whether it's being a brother or a sister, we do it all for you, Father. So, Lord, we ask that you be the center this morning, Father God. We invite your presence here. We invite you in this place, Lord. Be the center. Jesus at the center of it all. Jesus at the center of it all. From beginning to the end, it will always be. It's always been.